Hey everyone, Goose Jackie here for Psychology Gamer, bringing you the latest in video game and psychology research. Video games have been getting a lot of media attention lately, and unfortunately most of it tends to be very, very negative. As an aspiring psychologist, what I care about is the research. Earlier this month, Kotaku posted an article called From Halo to Hot Sauce, What 25 Years of Violent Video Game Research Looks Like by Jason Schreller. This article really delves into both sides of the violent video game debate. On the video games are bad for you side is Bushman and Anderson, and on the video games are not bad for you side, or at least there's not enough research out there right now to prove they are, is Ferguson. Bushman and Anderson are well known for their research into violent video games and the impact that they have on children, adolescents, and young adults. Their findings suggest that adolescents, children, and young adults are more aggressive and have fewer helping behaviors after playing violent video games than saying a non-violent video game. On the other side is Ferguson, who makes the argument that one, there's not enough literature out there to successfully tie aggressive behavior to violent video games. In fact, he even makes the point that all of the findings by Bushman and Anderson show only an increase in aggressive thoughts, not aggressive behavior, and there's a huge difference there. Ferguson also points out that the Bushman and Anderson studies have a lot of methodological flaws in them, meaning that the studies themselves aren't very well put together and oftentimes have very leading questions so that you're really only going to get one outcome. One really interesting aspect of this article is the presentation of research by Paul Adachi, a PhD student who ran a, an experiment using four conditions, violent video games with competition, violent video games without competition, video games without competition and without violence, and video games without violence but with competition. What his results suggest is that it's competition, not violence, that actually is the predictor of a, an increase in aggressive thoughts. Which is very interesting because if you think about it, any time that you may probably have raged during a game was probably because you just lost a really close match. I know for me, you know, losing a match in Halo, that's what gets it, not, you know, going through Left 4 Dead campaign and chainsawing a zombie in half. Overall, this is just a really well-researched, well-written article. And even though it's a little bit on the long side, it's definitely worth your time and energy to take a look at it if you have any interest whatsoever in psychology, video games, and how the media portrays it all.